हेलो फ्रेंड्स मैथ इज ए जर्नी बट नॉट ए डेस्टिनेशन लेट अस स्टार्ट आवर जर्नी फ्रॉम एक्सरसाइज एट बी लास्ट वीडियो रे मु एक्सरसाइज एट बी रो क्वेश्चन नंबर अप टू फाइव कर दी आज ही पिला मैंने उनको करीबा क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स लाइन सो दाइन y is equal to mx plus c touches the touches the ellipse. What is that ellipse? X square by a square plus y square by b square equal to one if c square is equal to a square m square plus b square one second check kar do so that the line y equal to mx plus c touches the ellipse x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1 if c square equal to a square m square plus b square that means how suppose <coughs> The x-axis, y-axis. Suppose there is a ellipse. A line touches the ellipse one point. That means what? That means say this is the tangent. Okay. So that the line y equal to mx plus c. That means say you see here. Solution y equal to m x plus c. I am differentiating both sides with respect to x. So this is the equation one implies that dy by dx is equal to m. Second equation suppose. Okay. Next, what is parabola is given here? x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to one. I am differentiating both sides with respect to x. Suppose this is the third equation. Then it implies that d by dx of x square by a square plus d by dx of y square by B square is equal to zero implies that so one by a square two x plus one by b square two y dy by dx is equal to zero implies that correct to I can take the common so x by a square Plus y by b square dy by dx is equal to zero by two. That is equal to zero. Implies that. So dy by dx is equal to dy by dx is equal to minus x by a square. Here y by b square. That's why we divide it. B square by y. That means I can write minus. B square by a square x by y. Okay. Suppose this is the equation four. Let us see here dy by dx m. Here we get dy by dx is equal to minus b square by a square x by two. So from equation two and four. From equation 
2 and 4. What we get? M we get minus B square by A square X by Y. Okay? Suppose this point of contact, let it be alpha and beta. That means it will satisfy both the equation. Equation of the ellipse and equation of the line. Let alpha beta be the point of contact. Alpha beta be the point of contact. That means I can write m is equal to minus b square by a square x by y in place of x by y I am writing alpha by beta ok in place of x I am taking alpha in place of a y I am taking beta then I can write that implies that this beta is equal to minus b square alpha divided by a square m. We got this beta is equal to minus b square alpha divided by a square m. Now you see that y equal to mx plus c this is the first equation. Put this value of beta put value of beta in equation 1 equation 1 and 2 so in place of y I shall take the, ok here what is given y equal to mx plus c that means beta is equal to mx plus c implies that in place of beta I am taking minus b square alpha divided by a square m is equal to mx in place of x I am taking alpha plus c once again I shall check it m is equal to minus b square alpha divided by a square a put this value of a beta in equation 1 y equal to mx plus c in place of a y I have taken beta mx plus c but beta is here minus b square alpha by a square m so I have taken in place of beta minus b square alpha by a square m plus mx sorry here in place of a x I am taking alpha because alpha and beta the common point that is the point of contact so m alpha plus c implies that so I can write that suppose minus c is equal to m alpha plus b square alpha by a square m ok this is equal to I can take common a square m ok a square m so what will be this one this is m square a square alpha m a square so m square a square alpha plus b square alpha clear so if I take the common alpha then what will become m square a square plus b square divided by a square m implies that alpha is equal to minus c into a square m divided by m square a square plus b square so now I got the value of alpha again beta 
so now i can say that now this beta is equal to how much beta is equal to minus b square alpha divided by a square n is equal to minus b square in place of alpha i am taking this one that means minus c a square m divided by m square a square plus b square this is minus b square alpha divided by means into 1 by a square m okay so how much it will become this one will be a square m a square m cancel this is a minus minus plus c b square divided by m square a square plus b square what i got i got the value of this is i have written now beta i got c b square divided by m square a square plus b square okay now let us see the equation x square by a square plus y square by b square is equal to 1 is already given okay children now you see that i am taking the help of uh, equation 3 the parabola okay now i am rubbing it So I can say that uh, I have no problem with the x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1 implies that in place of x I am taking already alpha. So alpha square by a square plus beta square by b square this is equal to 1 okay implies that so value of alpha how much here is the alpha here is the beta so in place of alpha square i am taking minus c a square m by m square a square plus b square of square divided by a square plus beta square c b square plus square divided by m square a square plus b square okay so i can write like this vector okay square divided by b square is equal to 1 implies that c here c square a to the power 4 m square divided by here is the a square into m square a square plus b square plus square plus here c square b to the power 4 divided by m square a square plus b square of square 1 by b square means b square this is equal to 1 so implies that so what will do c square here a square a4 a square m square divided by m square a square plus b square raw square plus here b square is cancel c square b square divided by m square plus 
sorry m square a square plus b square a square this is equal to 1 implies that here is the m square a square plus b square plus square Again, come on this is c square a square m square plus c square b square this is equal to 1 imply that c square a square m square plus c square b square is equal to m square a square plus b square raw square okay so here I'm writing implies that if I take the c square common c square common a square m square plus b square is equal to m square a square plus b square plus square implies that c square is equal to m square a square plus b square square divided by m square a square plus b square this is equal to m square a square plus b square clear we got the answer that means c square equal to here I write c square is equal to m square a square plus b square root so this is about the question number 6 I may have next question about question number 7 11 uh, raw produce Question number seven. The Pratik beat question number two to up to end. I think up to seventeen number question. Pratik problems important. Pilamane Yasa Gorchi, video taku, trade mark shaper, share kaliba. As a result, they can also get the benefit. Okay, we can reach at more people. See it. Question number seven. Question number seven. What is that? So that. So that. The sum of the intercepts. The sum of the inter. Set sum of the intercepts on the coordinate on the coordinate axis of any tangent axis of any tangent to the cot to the cot root x plus root y is equal to root a is constant. The question I want is so that the sum of the intercepts made on the coordinate axis. Already you have studied this is the x intercept, this is the y intercept. So <coughs> we write the equation x by a plus y by b is equal to 1 intercept 1. 
so that the sum of the intercepts on the coordinate axis of any tangent to the chord is a constant. Let us see here. Now, solution root x plus root y is equal to root x. I may differentiate for the both sides with respect to x. Imply that d by dx x to the power 1 by 2 plus d by dx y to the power 1 by 2 is equal to 0 because this is a constant term. Okay? Implies that the congreva 1 by 2 root x plus 1 by 2 root y again dy by dx this is equal to 0. Implies that the total common is 1 by root x plus 1 by root y dy by dx is equal to 0 by 1 by 2 that is 0. Okay? Implies that then dy by dx is equal to minus 1 by root x into root y that means minus root y by root x okay let the sum of the intercept made on the coordinate axis of any tangent to the curve let suppose x1 y1 be the point of contact then dy by dx at x1 y1 i can write minus root of, of y1 divided by root of, of x1 clear that means this is the slope we got this is the slope of the tangent slope of the tangent then what about the equation now the equation what will be y minus y1 is equal to slope how much given minus y1 by x1 y minus y1 in equal to m to x minus x1 that means x minus x1 i have taken x1 and y1 as the point of a contact so i can write now let us see here that implies that root y1 at place bar y by root y1 minus y1 by root y1 is equal to minus x minus x1 divided by root of x1 clear hmm, this is equal this is equal to minus x by x1 plus x1 by root of x1 clear implies that what the negative uh, x by so here our mistakes i made it okay x by root of x1 plus y by root of y1 is equal to x1 by root of x1 plus y1 by root of y1 this is equal to x1 by root of x1 that means root of x1 plus root of y1 already we know that root of x root x plus root y is equal to root a so i can take here as root a okay 
because x1 and y1 satisfy this condition if the root of x a plus root of y is equal to root of a that means root of x1 plus root of y1 also a because that is a point of contact it satisfy the both okay so i got that x by root of x1 plus y by root of y1 is equal to root a actually i have to bring it into intercept for tale kon kariya padibo mu vartaman root a re divide koruchi x by root a into root x1 plus y by root a into root y1 is equal to 1 both sides se dividing both sides of the above equation by root a okay children so that means ame bartan pai gele x intercept and y intercept what we have to find out so that is sum of the intercept on the sum of the intercept this is the x intercept this is the y intercept then what is this now root of a into root of x1 plus root of a into root of y1 is equal to root of a common root of x1 plus root of y1 this is equal to root of a root of x1 plus root of y1 that is equal to root a that means this is the a which is a constant ओके तो हमरो ड्यू थिला वो प्रूव करे पडिवो द सम ऑफ द इंटरसेप्ट ऑन द कोऑर्डिनेट एक्सिस ऑफ एनी टेंजेंट टू द कॉर्ड इज कांस्टेंट सो नाउ वी गॉट द कांस्टेंट दिस इज प्रूव तुम भाबो छि पिला माने आज रो प्रॉब्लम ता को भलो भाबे बुझि पाथिबो आई एम एक्सपेक्टिंग वी प्रैक्टिस इट अगेन एंड अगेन टू बी परफेक्ट तेनो नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम नेक्स्ट वीडियो रे अंटिल देन बाय